Hi, I'm Dr. Johnson, and I'm here to talk to you about the after part of knee replacement surgery. You know, rehab. The fact is, rehab plays a huge part in the success of your procedure. First of all, though, let's go over some of the basic do's and don'ts. Most of these are common sense, but I'll review them with you quickly. For one thing, remember to always follow your surgeon's and physical therapist's instructions carefully. Take pain medication only as directed and let your doctor know if it's not helping. To control swelling and pain in your knee, apply an ice pack wrapped in a towel and keep your knee elevated as much as possible. As for the don'ts, well just remember you're healing, so don't participate in high impact, high risk activities. No heavy lifting and always turn your body rather than twisting your knee. Patients often ask me what they can expect right after surgery. How quickly can and should they start rehab? What will they be able to do and when? The truth is, rehab begins almost as soon as surgery is over. The simple movements like taking a couple of steps with a walker or cane and working on the continuous passive motion machine. Your physical therapist will show you how to use it. Over the next couple of days, you may be able to walk more easily with crutches or a cane, get on and off the toilet, and climb up and down two to three steps. By discharge, you should be able to straighten and bend your knee to 90 degrees, bathe and dress yourself, and climb several steps. At six weeks, you should be walking unaided and able to resume working, driving, housekeeping, and other everyday activities. By 12 weeks, you may be back to golfing, walking, doing yoga, bowling, or swimming. Now, let's talk about some of the exercises your physical therapist will want you to do. Of course, you'll be told to increase the number and duration of exercises begun in the hospital. Keep using the continuous passive motion machine and increase household activities. As time goes by though, you should also be able to add toe and heel raises, partial knee bends, hip abduction, leg balancing, step ups, and more. By the end of your rehab, you can resume most of your low impact sports and activities, but absolutely no high impact activities or rough team sports. You wouldn't want to jeopardize your recovery. Remember, working hard at rehab can make a big difference in the success of your surgery. So commit to your exercises.